okay. This one is actually only going to be a quick one. Maximum 15 minutes. It's a leg workout again. <sighs> Squats and deadlifts. That's it. Super simple. Just get my back warmed up and then we start. Oh, with some cat cow. Two more. All right. I'm gonna do best stretch once. That means push up position. And I'm not gonna do a full stretch. It's just to get some movement. Take a step. And then to keep it dynamic, we bring the other leg through. And then we move back to the other side. Activates the legs, the feet, the arms, the back, the core, everything possible. One more each side. All right. The toes and the feet also. One last thing. Okay, I'm ready. First exercise is squats. Ooh. Just looking at the wall. Nothing important for you, just seeing how things are moving. Hmm. Cracks in the walls. Is it crumbling down? Squats, let's go. Just with the bar, first set, and then two more sets after that. Okay, I'm gonna go for 60 kilos on this first set. Which means got a twenty oh, on each side. It's a handy dandy clip. Ten more. 
more minutes. Let's see if I can get four reps. Five is enough. Woo! All right, that was actually pretty easy. If you're doing this with me, send me your results. Hold yourself accountable. Make a comment. Today, I did 40 kilos 10 times. Whatever it is, stick with me. That's what it's all about, supporting each other. Since I did that, I'm gonna go up to 70. See what an extra 10 kilos does to me. Oh, today I did my breath work outside in the sun. So nice. It's cold outside, but it's like brisk, clear skies. So nice. And then I did a cold shower. <laughs> And as you can see, I don't heat in here. I don't know if you can see the goosebumps. I'm still starting to slowly warm up. All right, I'm ready. Are you? I thought I heard a yes. Let's go. This is the last set. I'm not gonna set a limit. If I hit five, cool. Then I know. Ten kilos is different. Crazy. A couple years ago, I was doing a hundred for like five. Here we go. The journey is starting. The journey is going. I'm a terrible singer. It's okay. All right. Let's get this bar down. Do a negative squat down there. Deadlifts. Also going to start with 70 kilos. <sighs> I 
Let's see what happens. Three sets. Just thinking in my head. Pure strength training is something that's supposed to really be pure strength. How should you feel afterwards? Like after an endurance session, I feel like, man, that was hardcore muscular endurance, I mean. But right now, at least, I feel like, okay, I'm good. But I still got three more sets. All right, let's go. Deadlifts for me are weird because it's hard, but I feel like I can just keep going. Put another five kilos on. I just found an answer to that question I just said, or just asked. How should you feel? Depends on the goal. If you're going for hypertrophy, which is a part of developing strength, then I guess it's really good to hit it hard and be completely maxed out using larger weights. But if you're going for neurological gains, it doesn't always have to be <clears throat> deadly. All right, I'm running out of time. Two more sets. Let's go. This one is focusing on the concentric, so coming up, it's going to be a little bit faster on the way down. Last two. Sometimes I like getting technical. I am a bit of a body nerd. I like talking about the body. I like talking about what happens when we train. 
have been studying it for the past 15 years. <laughs> Half of my life. It's crazy. The knowledge I have now, I'm actually really proud of it. Compared to a few years ago, I thought I was, mm, whatever. I know my shit, but something is missing. All right, let's finish strong. Yet again, focusing on the up. I'm gonna do the technique that I learned in the US. One more. Whoa. Easy money. That's it for me. Have an amazing day. See you tomorrow in the cold. Maybe for a little bit of a workout. Pew!